I dated a guy for two years, partially because I met him during a game, mm-hmm. and he was so sweet, and the way he was communicating with other guys, I thought was adorable. There was one part where I was, um, I was in cowgirl. We were on this couch, and so I was, I had the guy that I was on cowgirl. The uh, in my party, there was somebody behind me in my ass. I had a hand here and here on, and then the guy that I ended up dating was behind the couch uh, in my face. And so because my hands are occupied and I can't mm-hmm. really move too much, he was holding my face in a river of spit just sort of going down and it started plopping down on the guy that I was uh-huh. And the dude who's you know, just looked down and he was like, I'm sorry. I like, just trying to, <laughs> trying to apologize, but also not make too much noise. Oh my God, he's so I, considerate. Right, and I thought that was so sweet. I literally like fell in love with him after that. So yeah, the communication between guys oh, during a game, is, it's a, a real brotherhood thing. I love that. And like one of the other guys was struggling in it. And every time he was noticing the little struggle, he was like, hey, and just like took his place. And, yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, to be fair, like that is a high stress situation. Mm-hmm. You can always see like what someone's really like, how they perform in a high stress situation. This is like a great example of like good character. Yeah. Yeah. You have camaraderie, you know, good teamwork. Yeah. <laughs>